Hello everybody, Fiasco here today back at Magic Kingdom to give you my five, in my opinion, must do things that you need to do on your Magic Kingdom Park Day. These are things that, especially if you're on vacation, I feel like you just need to do, or did you really go to Magic Kingdom at all? Before we get started, if you enjoy our content, please consider supporting our sponsor for these videos, Dreams Unlimited Travel and Booking, your next vacation, all that info and more down in the description below. But as we go along, comment below your must-dos here at Magic Kingdom. Let's get started. All right, so our very first must-do as soon as you walk onto Main Street, and you're really gonna regret it if you don't do it, especially on your vacation, and that's getting a castle pick with your party. Uh, the castle changes, you know, frequently throughout the, the generations and years. And I found that the image of the castle behind you is a pretty good indicator of the roundabout time your vacation happened. Uh, I look back, you know, when I was a teenager or even like a young kid, like 10, 12, 14 uh, eight, eight years old. And I kind of can't figure out exactly how old I was in the picture, but the castle and the and Main Street in general is kind of a good indicator. I can kind of pick up, okay, this is probably around this year uh and it's just you're, you're gonna regret not getting that castle picture with your party if you don't get it so that is is my first must do thing that you must do on your magic kingdom park day uh it doesn't doesn't necessarily need to be the castle you could get a a picture to keepsake the 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 day in front of your favorite attraction or at a restaurant or something like that but the castle is just kind of the given that's the one you're on Main Street, you might as well take a stop like everybody else does and just snap a quick photo to commemorate and start off your day, just like you saw me, you saw me doing. But that is the first must do and we'll move right on to number two. All right, so for our number two must do thing here at Magic Kingdom, we have to head into Tomorrowland because the People Mover is up and running again. And mark my words, if the People Mover is up and running, it is a must do. Uh, I believe this should be the first thing that you hit up when you enter Tomorrowland. It is going to show you everything else that Tomorrowland has to offer. And if you keep your ears open, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two as well. Uh, just like, just one thing off the top of my head, Progress City, you're gonna go through the little model of Progress City uh, and here some things about that and fun fact uh tomorrow well the people mover was supposed to be the basically public transportation system of that progress city you're going to see the model of so that's just that's pretty cool very fitting uh but this is just you know a classic classic attraction that everybody everybody can get behind all ages everybody can really appreciate and enjoy uh, even if the line looks intimidating, don't let it intimidate you. Uh, our line here for the People Mover today was very long because, like I mentioned, it just reopened about a week ago. Um, but because of the nature of the People Mover and how it works, that line's going to move very, very quickly. The line looked really long, but I think maybe we waited 12 minutes tops. So... Um, definitely don't let a line that looks long discourage you especially from the people mover because no people mover line is really that long and as i say that just watch it get to 50 minutes but you know what from experience it usually doesn't get that bad um but hands down without a doubt such a must do do the people mover it's a fan favorite for a reason all right for our number three must do thing you got to do here at magic kingdom that's to take advantage of an ADR, an advanced dining reservation. It's no surprise here, I've come out saying this on multiple occasions, the quick service at Magic Kingdom is not very good. If you're just looking for basic theme park type food, the quick service here will do it, but if you want something a little bit better, you need an advanced dining reservation. Specifically, I'm gonna plug Jungle Skipper Canteen. In my mind, that is the best. That's the best, but there are others as well. Uh, I'm on record saying I don't care for Tony's Town Square, but um, there, there are some options for you. And it's a great way to also break up that park day, escape from the crowds, you know, take a little rest off of this and eat some good food. 
um, I would highly, highly recommend you, if, if you can, plan in advance an advanced dining reservation, especially at this time of year, you know, coming forward into June, July, August, September, the notorious, very, very hot months in Florida, you're gonna want a break. You're definitely going to want a break from this, this heat, without a doubt. Book an ADR, don't cancel it, and you'll thank me later. All right, and number four on our must-do list is to prioritize the classics. I know that I've already included People Mover as a classic, but this is a more broad must-do, and I think it's probably the most important out of all of them. Now, Magic Kingdom isn't known for having the best coasters in Florida as much as the mountains are beloved by many. Um, and me, when I used to ride roller coasters often, I, I love the mountains too. But that's not what Magic Kingdom's known for having. It's, it's really known for having the best classic dark rides, the best classic shows, the best classic boat rides. So with that being said, I think you should definitely prioritize seeing at least one of the classic shows, you know, Carousel of Progress, uh, Enchanted Tiki Room, Country Bear Jamboree, but as well hit up as many of those classic dark rides and boat rides as you can possibly get to Pirates of the Caribbean. Number one, you need to do Pirates. Haunted Mansion, close second for me. You need to do Haunted Mansion. But that's just to label a, a couple of them. I mean, we got Peter Pan's Flight, Small World, uh, Jungle Cruise, Winnie the Pooh, Little Mermaid. There's so many, and that's really what separates what separates Disney from the rest. Because you go to another theme park, like Universal, or I don't know, um, another one. I can't think of the rest of them off the top of my head. Uh, Bush Gardens, and they might have a more thrilling coaster. Uh, by a thrill seeker's standpoint, a better coaster, right? But when you look at their kiddie attractions, their, their attractions for younger people, they are kind of, eh. The thing about Magic Kingdom and the thing about Disney that really separates from the pack is there are no real, eh, attractions unless we're going to Dino Land then. The, a, a couple of the, the Dino Land attractions are kind of eh, if, if we're being honest. But for the most part, you're, you're, it's just greatness all around. And that just really shows, especially with the Disney dark rides. There is no quality like that that I can find really anywhere. Aside from a few attractions at Universal, you know, E.T. is great. Um, but for the most part, Disney's the one that does those right. And when you're coming to Magic Kingdom, especially on vacation, I feel like those need to be priority number one. But with that, we're gonna move on to our final must do for your Magic Kingdom Park Day. Comments down below before we get to it, start to guess. Based on what we've covered so far, what do you think I might suggest is a must do thing here at Magic Kingdom? Ready to find out? Thank you. All right, our fifth and final must-do thing here at Magic Kingdom is taking part in eating a classic Disney snack. For me, that is a dole up, hands down every time, either pineapple vanilla swirl or coconut pineapple swirl. But for you, that could mean something different. There are plenty of classic Disney snacks to meet everybody's tastes. Well, that's a Mickey pretzel, a Mickey ice cream bar, popcorn, you know, all sorts of stuff. There's lots of different Disney snacks you can try, but you need to try, you need to have at least one so you can say you did. So when you're talking to other people about their Disney vacation and what they had, and they said, oh yeah, I had a Dole Whip and Jimmy had a Mickey pretzel. What did you have? And you were, and you're like, oh, we didn't eat anything. We just brought chips in our bag. They're gonna be like, ha ha, you're not cool. And you know what? If that was what happened, they would be right. You're not cool. You need to have at least one classic Disney snack. Pick one. There's lots of them, but you need at least one. All right, everyone. That is going to do it for my five picks for things you must do on your Magic Kingdom Park Day, especially if you're here on vacation. 
but there's a lot more other stuff here at Magic Kingdom, so make sure you comment down below anything I missed that you think is just a must do. You gotta do it when you're here at MK. Leave those comments down below and I will see you in the next one.